everybody. We know there's a lot of stuff happening. Well, our government says there is. There's a lot of chatter about some kind of um, something going to happen from the Muslim countries. But did you know an executive order was passed August 1st? And it's about um, improving chemical facilities and security. And as I read through this, it started making me wonder. Uh, number one, they really aren't going to improve anything because the corporations own these facilities and they have not really done anything. As a matter of fact, they want to make Hanford in Washington State, which is just a filthy, nothing but nuclear waste dump that they don't really do much with, a, a national park or a national historical place you can go visit toxic radiation just I'm sure they'll sell you the suits at the door I'm just kidding there because they won't I'm sure they want you to get the radioactive material but let me just turn around and read this to you the best I can because it's not my problem with what it's they're saying because they're really not going to do anything it's just my problem that how locally they're getting people involved like they're going to have little groups in your local community certain people can be involved in this and that that kind of makes you know with everything going on what the WTF is up hold on this is an executive order improving chemical facility safety and security and the purpose chemicals in the facilities where they are manufactured stored and just distributed are used and are essential to today today's economy past and recent tragedies have reminded us however that the handling and storage of chemicals are not without risk let's see we can name a lot of those places Hanford Bayou corn um, I mean I could just keep going on and on the federal government has developed and implemented numerous programs aimed at reducing the safety risk and security risks associated with hazardous chemicals like they I guess did did they not silence us on Fukushima that's probably in this I don't know however additional measures can be taken to not let us know anything um, I'm just adding my own stuff here you guys do know that um, with there's uh, numerous programs aimed at reducing the safety risk and security risks associated with hazardous chemicals. However, additional measures can be taken by executive departments and agencies, like they get off their butts and do anything, with regulatory authority further to improve chemical facility safety and security in coordination with the owners and operators. Corporations not going to do anything. Chemical Facility Safety and Security Working Groups. Working Groups. Here we go. Co-chaired by the Secretary of Homeland Security, the Administrator of the Administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency, who I just called, who just said it's okay to spray Roundup. Well, I didn't call them exactly, but I did get in touch with the EPA on our federal forest. And the Secretary of Labor on their designated representatives at the assistant secretary level or higher. In addition, the working group shall consist of the head of each of the following agency or their designated representatives at the assistant secretary level or higher. The Department of Justice, the Department of Agriculture, the Department of Transportation. Um, and carrying out these responsibilities under this order, working groups shall consult with representatives from the Council on the Environment Quality, the National Security Staff, the Domestic Policy Council, the Office of Science and Technology Policy, the Office of, Office of Management and Budget, in the White House Office of Cabinet Affairs, and with such other agencies and offices as the President may designate. The working groups shall meet no less than quarterly to discuss the statutes of efforts to be implemented this order the working group is encouraged to invite other affected agencies such as the nuclear regulatory commission oh man biting my tongue there uh, to attend these meetings as appropriate additionally the working group shall provide within 270 days of the date of this order a status 
report to the president through the chair of the Council of Environmental Quality and the assistant to the president for Homeland Security and Counterterrorism. Now, improving operational coordination with the state, local, and tribal partners. Within 135 days of the date of this order, the working group shall develop a plan to support and further enable the state regulators, state, local, and tribal emergency responders, chemical facility owners and operators, and local and tribal communities to work together to improve chemical facility safety and security in developing this plan. The working group shall identify ways to improve coordination among the federal government, first responders, states, local and tribal entities, take into account the capabilities, limitations and needs of the first responder community, identify ways to ensure that the state homeland security advisors, state emergency response commissioners, there is just too many alphabet agencies here, tribal emergency response commissions, local emergency planning committees, tribal emergency planning committees, state regulators, first responders have already access to key information in a usable format including thoroughly reviewing categories of chemicals for which information is provided to first responders and the manner in which it's made available so as to prevent, prepare for, and respond to chemical incidents identifies areas in collaboration with state, local, and tribal governments and private sector partners where joint collaborative programs can be developed or enhanced including by better integrating existing authorities, judicial responsibilities, and regulatory programs in order to achieve a more comprehensive and engagement on, on chemical risk management. Oh, this just goes on and on. You guys can go read this. Um, these are little working groups they want to do. Now you report this is out, it is pretty long and and you can read it and and give me your assessment of this. But um, first of all, the working group shall convene stakeholders, including chemical producers, chemical storage companies, agriculture supply, state and local regulators, chemical, critical infrastructure owners and operators. This is all hype and bullshit for the corporations. Or either they're about to plan something. I don't know. All I know is they're trying to kick tribes off their, their lands because the corporations want the stuff. So I'm sure they'll find them. You know, you can't live here because of this, that, but that corporation will never have to clean that mess up. Also, I think they're going to start doing it in rural communities and local communities. We got the back and oil about to come through here. A lot of people are mad. Also, they're pushing Agenda 21 down our throat again. So, I think this is not really, you know, oh, it sounds so sweet and sanitized, but when there's that many agencies involved, it should send up red flags. Now, I don't like the government or trust the government and everybody. I think everybody knows that. And uh, so I don't know if this was signed August 1st because they're going on vacation or or he is the guy who's the, the, the what, the CEO of D.C., Obama, or if this has something to do with maybe they need to get everybody together because they're going to do some kind of chemical attack on something. I don't know. I, I just, when I read that there was a new executive order, I thought I should get it out there. But you can read it and tell me what you think. Is it benign or do you think something's up? Because actually, the more of us that put our heads together, the more we find out. We really do. And I know I look a mess today. I went swimming and uh, it felt good to get out of the house and get back to the earth and stuff. Um, get away from a lot of just stuff that's been bothering me but I do I love every one of you guys and uh, peace love and truth and tell me what you think about this executive order seems rather strange to me they've really never cared about any of this before why care now and why bring in so many groups so many groups that have never done anything to protect us is what I'm saying um, anyway love you guys and Linda's out